This is Nick with Build Brothers Roofing at 108 Vista Way. Out here in El Cajon, started my digital inspection. Uh, we are on top of an architectural shingle roof. Uh, the roof does have some age on it, but we have big leaks coming from this section of the roof uh, and then also over here on the flat section. So I'd say this roof, just based off the condition of it, is you know close to 20 years old or so. Um, it does have drip edge, which is a good sign. We can see the whirly birds, which tells us, you know, the, it's not a newer roof for sure. And then we have a decent amount of granule loss on this on this, uh, on this this roof as well. Um, we also see some areas where it just kind of gets to be a little funky. You can see how how wavy a lot of these, uh, a lot of these shingles are. They're really kind of starting to come up. Um, over here, same thing. You can see how these shingles are, are starting to protrude right here. And I'm not sure why, but water is gonna end up sitting there every time it rains. Um, you can see that the majority of the sealant along the penetrations uh, is starting to go as well. Uh, and then working over to this section, you can also see all the ridge caps have exposed nail heads on them. So each and every one of those exposed nails head, nails head, nail head is, uh, is a leak waiting to happen. So we, ne we never want to see that on a newer roof. So all that to put together tells me this roof is, you know, probably close to 20 years old or so. Again, we have a leak coming from this section right here. Unfortunately, with these solar panels and how low profile of panels they are, it's, it's impossible to see where this leak is coming from uh, without tearing these panels off and seeing what's underneath it. Now... I'm not exactly sure, uh, you know, where it's coming from, like I said, although I will say this is a very low slope roof. We're at about 212 here. And if we go ahead and, and, and are penetrating these panels um, or the, these shingles for those solar panels and there is not a good underlayment already underneath this roof, well, then that's always going to be a leak waiting to happen. So my suggestion as far as a fix goes for this section, no matter what, these panels are going to have to come up. Um, so the best thing for this homeowner to do is to redo this entire roof plane. So we lift these panels up. We're going to remove and reinstall them. We are a certified sun power solar installer. Uh, we have our own in-house crews on the solar side. So we remove and reinstall panels all the time. And then what I'm going to do is tear this roof off. I want to get down to the wood decking. Obviously we're going to have some, um, some wood repair over in this section because that leak is so bad. But what we're gonna do is, uh, when we go ahead and reinstall the, the synthetic underlayment, we're gonna go with an upgraded underlayment called the titanium peel and stick. It actually comes with a lifetime warranty. Um, once we have that titanium peel and stick on this roof, we can go ahead and add the shingles back on top. At that point, this roof will become completely waterproof. But again, unfortunately, it's almost impossible to tell exactly you know where this leak is coming from without actually getting down to the shingle itself. Um, as far as this flat roof goes, we got a leak coming from this section. You can see a lot of wood damage underneath. Um, and you can just see my foot, just how much it sinks down on this portion of the roof. And we can see that we have this big exposed nail head right here. Um, and every single time it rains, water is gonna be getting underneath this nail head no matter what. You can also see that the seams are starting to go along this section as well. So water ends up sitting over here uh, and will end up penetrating every time it rains. Um, the, the product itself is in decent shape, although it is starting to age, right? We can see that the edges are starting to, to loosen up a little bit. You can see all the sealant is starting to come up. My fingers are getting directly underneath this material. Same thing over here. Again, if my fingers are getting all the way underneath this, uh, then water is going to be getting underneath it as well. You can see that there's some ponding that go occurs along this portion also. And then you can see that there are some granules that are accumulating in the gutters themselves. Um, so just based off that, if the homeowner would like to be proactive, seeing as how there's already a big leak coming over from this section, what we can do is put a layer of synthetic, I'm sorry, not synthetic, a TPO on this flat roof. Um, what happens when we install a TPO roof is this entire section is now turned into one singular membrane based off of how it is installed. Now, what we wanna do is take that TPO about three feet underneath the, the roofing shingles above it. So in order to do so, we will have to remove and reinstall those five solar panels. Although, during the process, what we're going to be able to do is redo all these penetrations. Uh, we'll redo this chem curb, make sure that that is done properly so that we're not seeing any leaks coming from this portion. And then it's also going to go ahead and include this section as well. Um, so now as far as where leaks are coming from, we're going to know that this whole section will be brand new. Um, if the homeowner wants to redo the whole roof, you know, he can be proactive about it. This roof has a few years left in it. I mean, I'd say it has another, you know, five or seven years left in it. Um, so it's going to have to go sooner or later. So again, it's up to the homeowner as far as what they want to do. I'm going to present him with a few different options. Um, but as far as, 
the uh, the roofing repair goes. M again, my suggestion, we'll redo this whole roof plane, add a layer to titanium peel and stick underlayment, remove and reinstall these solar panels, and this way this homeowner won't have to deal with this issue anymore um, because it seems like this is gonna continue to happen until it gets fixed.